So now that we have our leads reminder in place, we are able to create leads, look at them and take necessary actions. Why don't we create a dashboard widget where we are able to see the leads the moment I log in. So and this is my dashboard and what I want to do is when I log in, I will see a list of reminders which I need to work on on that particular day. So today, if I have two reminders, I will be able to see them and react to them. So that's what we are going to show in the dashboard. So first things first, we will need to pass that information to our um, dashboard page, right? So let's go to dashboard controller. We are right now only sending the data first name, last name, which is fine. We need to also get the reminders. So why don't we query the database? Reminder query. I will take them with the leads data because we will need the name and the phone number, which we want to show. So with leads where let's say reminders <clears throat> dot reminder date will be now we'll format it to y capital y m d okay let's get the get first so this is where we will get the format because if you remember in our database we are storing y m d as the format right so that's done that's our first where condition second where condition should be <clears throat> not user id the reminders user id should be the logged in user so i should have created the reminder okay and the last reminder dot status should be in pending so if i have you know worked on a reminder and i have completed it or maybe created that a new reminder uh, on a different date so it, it has been completed right so that should go away from the list so this is our uh, data which we need to send why don't we pass that as reminders in here so that we get it in the um, dashboard index so let's load up index and the first thing that i would like to do is say that i am expecting a props called reminders hit refresh i don't think right now reminder dot status is unknown column that's strange because i think i made a typo yes it's reminders okay now it should work and it does so right now we will not get anything in our reminders because i don't think i have a pending reminder for today so we will add that so the array is empty i'll bring it down a bit that's it and in here i have let's say this particular one add a new reminder need to call again today's date will be fifth hit save and now if i go to the dashboard it says call to undefined relationship reminder okay that's <laughs> uh, <clears throat> i think when i was going through the you know basic code to uh, be, uh, before recording the tutorial i created that relationship and i forgot that i haven't done it in the main so lead is going to be a relationship inside reminder a lead has many reminders and a reminder this reminder will belong to a lead how does that happen in the reminder we have a lead underscore id so basically what laravel will do or eloquent will do is based on the relationship it will look for that id and associate that uh, lead with this reminder so it will understand that this reminder belongs to that lead okay and 
we can have custom uh, column names for example if i had lead id like this right i would have you know added that property however because we are following the convention of lead underscore id it will automatically pick it up okay so with this i think now it should not complain about it still does okay it's leads i'm sorry about that try to load it again and we get the data this time it has one object in it and i can see it's need to call so why don't we add one more okay just for you know, a little more understanding adding one more reminder it should be on the fifth okay <clears throat> head back let's go to this lead i'll add a reminder for future date and let's put it on sixth okay hit save and go back to the dashboard in here the array has only two entries that's that's correct because if we go to the database there are two entries for fifth which is today and one is for sixth right and also if you remember in the controller we said it should be in pending status so which means if i take any of this and make completed although that's not the proper way of making it complete i will have only one entry so that's working we can now uh, look at how we can uh, start displaying this array in here okay <clears throat> so index.view this is fine i think what i need to do is create one more row i'll quickly first uh, add the markup and we will expect a component we will add i mean we will be creating a subcomponent a child component inside the index so that we don't need to render everything here so we'll call that reminder list let's go here dashboard we'll have a new view file which is reminder list dot view this will expect a prop reminders which is going to be an array okay let's see what else do we need uh, we are saying we will get this and in template we will have a card which will have a card header that should say reminders list card body we have a ul list group and list group flush so that it sticks oops sticks to the edges and we don't have those left right borders and then list group item this is what is going to repeat okay so reminder in reminders need to add the key which is reminder id that is unique enough then the entire thing should be inside a link so inertia link <clears throat> in that let's have strong and say reminder dot lead dot name how am i assuming that's correct so reminder will have one and in that okay that's strange the lead object is not present leads should have been lead first of all i think i'm doing it wrong it should here come as lead it should be lead here and uh, this is correct 
with lead is also correct so where are we failing refresh once and see that's strange i just changed it to leads um shouldn't have happened but anyways so we are getting lead dot name and all those stuff inside this component so lead dot name okay that is one and what else do we need to do br show the reminder dot reminder text okay and <clears throat> this entire thing will link right it will link to the reminder view so which is our reminder dot view right so what do we need to pass in here we need to pass the lead and the reminder which means dollar mm, route reminder dot view pass an object which will have lead as reminder dot lead and reminder as reminder okay we have done quite a lot of code in here without even looking whether it is <laughs> um, uh, getting you know executed or not so the last thing which i'm going to do is reminder list from reminder list add that to the list add the component in here and in that we need to send the reminders so hit save it has you know i've been the javascript has rebuilt now let's refresh and if you're lucky we should get a list and it does wow so first shot we got everything you know, working and it does link i go back it says nancy patel and james smith need to call again adding one more reminder that's correct if i close it work done and i go to my dashboard i only have one so basically this the this is the first part where we are uh, showing a list of reminders on the dashboard it's one easy way for the users to get some information uh, as they start processing another day and what we also want to do is in the next one or two videos we will capture the functionality of creating a command which will run through the cron job okay let's say it will execute at um, some time let's say uh, 6 or 7 a.m every day it will go through the reminders table see how many reminders are there in pending state for that day okay it will group it by users and it will send them send every user a digest of all the reminders that the user needs to process on that particular day so so far this is what we have done we have created this new component which is uh, showing the list of reminders on the dashboard and we will work on the email in the next video so thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel